I'm Kim Kelliger. I'm a personal trainer and fitness instructor here at the Arena Club. Hi, I'm Isaiah Gills. I'm a personal trainer as well as sports performance trainer. And we are here with your Arena Club fitness trainer tip of the day. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk to you about body weight exercises and then Isaiah is going to show you some progressions for added intensity. So we're going to start with a squat. You want to set your feet slightly wider than your hips. Ladies especially, be careful you don't go too wide. Lots of times we have a disproportionate idea of how wide our hips are. So slightly wider than hips, both legs evenly weight bearing, abs braced, chest forward. You're gonna sink your weight down into your heels and your hips, keeping your chest forward, press back up. If you look at that from the side, I'm trying to hit, so my butt is just about even with my knees, thighs just about parallel to the floor. So that's your basic squat. Some things that you can do with tempo on that. Three, two, one, and up or down, hold, three, two, one, and up. If you wanted to put it into motion, sidestepping squats, making sure, again, that both legs are evenly weight-bearing and still finding that same range of motion. Isaiah? All right, so to progress this a little higher, we can still keep our squat going down, but now we can add a jump to it. Again, um, my chest is up, my core is tight. I'm sitting down, when I come up, I just explode up. I use my hands to go up as I go up. My hips are now extended. I'm extended at my uh, ankles as well. I'm going straight up. I'll land right back down. Soft knee bend when I'm down. Again, I want to land in that seated position. My chest is up. Another way, instead of going straight up and down, we can go lateral. Again, I'm here. I'm just moving side to side. Again, I jump and land two feet. If I'm here, I start here. I jump with two, I land with two. Landing right underneath my hips. Perfect or your lateral squat jump can look more like this, which isn't quite as big or bouncy or beautiful as Isaiah's. But anyway, second move is a lunge. So you're gonna start with your feet together. Same thing, abs are braced, chest is forward. You're gonna make sure that you have room to step back behind you. Take a long step back, drop straight down, lift back up again, and come forward, but you're gonna put it together. So a long step back and back up again alternating which leg steps back. From the side, you'll notice that if you, when I step back, front and back knee just about 90 degrees and body vertical. Same thing with the other leg. A Little bit higher progression on that is instead of stepping backward into lunge, you can step forward into lunge. Abs are braced nice and tight. Big push off with that front leg, keeping your core braced and then switch legs. What I don't wanna see on your front lunge is here and then you whip back. So you wanna keep your abs in your spine in a neutral position. All right, and again, to uh, progress that a little higher, with that, we can still stay in our lunge, but now we have a three switch into our lunge. So one, two, three, on our third, I'm gonna go back into that lunge, and I drop down. All right, again, one, two, three, I drop down, my chest is still up. All right, I'm still bracing my, uh, my core, and I come right back up into it. One, two, three, right back down. Another way I can do this as well is split jumps. Split uh, jump squats. All right, so I'm here, again, my chest is up, I'm using my hands to get me up into the air. I'm switching every time. We do not have to go as far down in our reverse lunges as we would before, but now we're going straight up, exploding, and switching my legs every time, all right? Beautiful. Notice how he used his arms there for momentum. So those are two bottom body weight exercises. Coming into the top half, push-ups. Again, you want your hands slightly wider than shoulders, abs braced nice and tight. You're gonna drop down until your chest is about even with your elbows, and then you're gonna press back up. Couple common things that I see, people do their push-ups with their butts up in the air, or they do their push-ups and they let their hips drop so they're not getting full range of motion. So you want a nice long line from your top of your head through your toes, drop down to 90 degrees, and back up again. If that's too much, you can also shorten your lever by going to your knees. Elbows go out, strong press back up. You don't have to go all the way down because that's a loaded, rotated position on your shoulders. It's not a great position as far as mechanically for them. If you wanted a little bit more, you could go into a side stepping push up. So your hands would step out, your knees or your toes would stay in the same position. One more thing I want to point out. Your head and neck are just an extension of your spine, so don't drop your head on your push-ups. I should be slightly forward and think about keeping everything lined up as you move up and down. All right, so going into this, we're still gonna stay down to our push-ups. So going a little more into this, we have plyo push-ups. 
with plyo push-ups, we can start wide. So there's two ways you can do this. You can go low to the outside, come right back to the middle, low to the outside. When we go low, one thing we want to avoid is dropping our hips. All right, we never want to drop our hips when we come down. My core is braced every time. All right, another one, another uh, way that we can move our push-up into more, uh, into a higher progression. All right, we have rocker chair push-ups where I can go down. When I come back up, again, my hips are, uh, are underneath myself. I'm, my ab, my core is tight. All right, from here, I rock back. I bring my hips to my heels. I come back forward, I do a push-up. Again, I rock back, hips to heels, my arms are straight. I push back forward, I'm right back down. And if you noticed on that, Isaiah, you have your choice on that. You can have your hands out wider for a chest push-up or if you start with your arms underneath your shoulders and keep your elbows in tight, that's more emphasis on your triceps. And again, that can be done from your knees or from your toes. Hips staying in line, take your butt with you when you go, it doesn't occupy its own zip code back there. All right, so last thing that we wanted to show you is a plank, which is a really pretty much full body exercise. So in plank position, arms are under shoulders or slightly wider. Again, your neck is in neutral, eyes are on the floor. Abs are braced, butt's not up, butt's not down. Everything is lined up, a nice straight line, knee, hip to shoulder. So if you wanted to add a little bit of intensity to this, you could take your feet a little bit wider. You could go into shoulder taps. You could go into some foot movement, walking your feet in and out, trying to keep your hips level and quiet. If that's too much, you can do the same thing from your knees. Tap out, tap out. If you have any compression issues in your wrist, you may choose a plank to take your plank low into a hover position. Elbows are gonna be underneath the shoulders. Same thing, don't hinge back through your hips. Keep your butt tight and your hips forward in extension. You can go to taps. You can go to taps. Hold. Challenge yourself as far as how long you can hold that, keeping the work in the anterior, not in your posterior. If you start feeling that in your lower back, tap out, you're tired, wrong muscles are coming into use. All right, and our last progression for here. So if I start on my forearms, again, my, my core is braced, my hips are low. All right, I'm even here. All I wanna do, I wanna do knee drags. Knee drags, I'm bringing my knee to each elbow, staying flat down with no rotation. The last thing we wanna do, we don't wanna rotate over. We wanna stay flat, pushed up on the back toes. Again, uh, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. And finally, when I'm up on my hands, we have uh, diagonal knee drags. Again, my chest is up, I'm, I'm square. The only thing that's rotating are my hips. Oh, and last but not least, we have a sidewinder, sidewinder. We're gonna jump up, both feet come up, in a nice 90 degree angle. All right, both knees are in 90 degrees. When I pop back in, I'm right back into my plank. My hips never sink, they never come back up. I'm embracing in my abs, my core, going each side. All right, that's all I have. So there you have it. All you need is a little bit of floor space and a little bit of know-how and you can use just your body weight to get a really good workout.